Hello and welcome to another animal edition of Think About It with Phoebe the Deer and Dan the Human. Today on Think About It, we're talking about animal rights. Think about it. What, besides just us saying it, makes humans a more important living thing than any other on the planet. If you haven't seen it already, see my Humans Are the Lesser Evolved Species video in the link below. If we all hold the same level of importance on this planet, then shouldn't we all have the same rights? I mean, do we contribute to this planet in some other major way animals don't that entitles us to do whatever we want? And when I say some way, I mean some beneficial way, not just that we built these giant uh, buildings, the skyscrapers, and enormous wind turbines that kill like half a million birds every year, that we cut down millions of acres of forest for, well, money, or that we exterminate insects and hell, entire species. If we're not more important, if we all hold the same level of importance, then shouldn't we all have the same level of rights? The same rights to clean, unpolluted water, the same rights to not receive the death penalty if we didn't commit a crime, same rights to not being caged and chained or placed on house arrest, forbidden to leave our homes. The same rights to not be tested on, our skin peeled off and used for furniture, and shoes and purses. The same rights to not be enslaved and be forced to work hard labor and toil in the mud in our farms as African American slaves once were. To not be locked up and forced to perform or be viewed for our own amusement, I foresee that people living a hundred years from now will look back and view our behavior and how we treat animals, how we enslave them, how we test on them, how we force them into physical labor, how we put chains around their neck, tie them to uh, trees, just like we did African slaves, how we whip them when they're not behaving, how we hit them, how we yell at them, just like we did African slaves, as abysmal, as disgusting, just like we do now about how we kept slaves a hundred years ago. Back then it was perfectly normal, even to the slaves. People would say slaves wanted to be slaves, just like people say dogs want to be kept in cages and wear collars and chained to a tree. Just like now they say, my dog wants to be my pet or my cat wants to be my pet. Uh, I don't think it wants to be locked in your house all day or in your backyard or kept in a cage or wearing a, a collar and a chain around his neck tied to a tree. People in a hundred years from now will look back and think that we treated animals like subservient beings, like slaves, like scum. We tested beauty products on them and chemicals we locked them up and forced them to perform or be viewed for our own amusement. We ripped their skin off of them and used it to make couches and shoes and, and gloves and purses. Again, and as always, do not believe anything you're told. Think for yourself, question everything, and stop sentient enslavement. Want to be part of creating a new and better society with EV and me? Join our new and growing eco-village. For more information, add me on Instagram and Facebook. Links in the description below.